Did you? Oh, you did! Oh, look at you guys! Well, goodness! Well done, team! Well, where is it? What did you do with it? Don't leave it out there to rot. We need that, and I just researched food drying. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today playing some Dawn of Man. File this one under a game I have been asked to play several times and never really gotten around to. I watched Penge at the Geek Cover play it about a million years ago when it very, very first came out. There wasn't much to it back then, but it's seen a lot of updates and a lot of developments. So I thought it was time we actually sat down and played some Dawn of Man. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't thank a very good friend of the channel, a viewer, for giving gifting me Dawn of Man so we can get a chance to play it. One of the big reasons that I never played it is I never owned it, so that was a problem when you want to sit down and play a game. You kind of actually have to own it. So thank you very much to that viewer. She knows exactly who she is for gifting me Dawn of Man. I went through and did the tutorial. Shut up. I really did the tutorial this time, I promise, and got sort of a vague handle on it, but I thought we'd just jump right into Dawn of Man and see what happens. So I've got free play or I've got challenges. Now this is a bit of a speed bump because this wasn't covered in the tutorial. I'm assuming I'm going to go for free play. That sounds like the sort of thing we do around here. Challenges does sound kind of fun and I like the idea of creative mode. That might be more my speed, but let's just start with free play. That's what it opened up on. Free play continental. Dawn, what do you got for me, Donna man? All right, put your shoes on, kids. We're at Grandma's by the Fork in the River here. All right, slam it into pause mode there, Donna Man. What do we got going on? I got my little tribe here. Uh, who are you? You're Bengal, and you're an adult man, and you're basically pretty chill about things. You could use a drink of water in the near future. Who are you? You're your doc. Right on. You're also pretty chill about things. Looks like we got some kids here. Karak, you're a boy. Okay, what, a, what are you? And do I need to fear you? You're a woolly rhino. I believe we should fear you. I'm pretty confident. I would fear you right now. I would fear you in the real world. Uh, can we move away from the woolly rhino? Or indeed, the ginormous mammoth over here? Well, we've just landed in a heck of a spot now, haven't we? Now, what, what if anything can I possibly remember from the tutorial? So it looks like right now I've got two tents a crafting station, and storage for wood. Okay, we need more things. Ah, there's a bunch of sticks over here. Do I remember how to set the gang to gather sticks? Is that work area? Okay, gather sticks. I would like you to gather sticks over here in this radius because it looks like there's a lot of sticks. And I believe if I turn the game on, yeah, you're going to go do that. You're just going to go automatically do that, Virig, if indeed that is your real name. You're just going to go automatically gather sticks. Okay, stage one complete. Sticks under control. How about, I think food would be an excellent thing to do. I can do that with fishing, right? Yeah, fishing. Okay, there's my fishing zones right there. So I would like, let's see if we can cover both of these. I'd like you to go fishing over here. Somebody, anybody, I don't really care who. The kid can go do it for all I care. Now, how about something else? What else have we got here? Gather sticks, gather flint. Hunting, okay. We're probably not going to go after the rhino. I'm, I'm just putting that out there, team. And we're not really equipped for that right now. Fishing, yes. Collect and harvest wild plants. That would probably be really good. And stone. Now, one thing I do remember from the tutorial is that flint is, like, really, really important to the early game stuff. So where did the flint thing go? Where could we gather some of that? Actually, doesn't look like we've got any really good areas for that. Is there... Ah, there's a little bit over here. Wow, we did not land in a good spot for flint. Is there anything closer to home? There's a big pile of it up there. But this seems a little bit closer. It's right across the river. So let's set up a work area over there. Okay, sticks, fish, and flint are under control. But I'm going to run out of workers real quick. And I wanted to get some hunting going on. Speaking of gathering stuff, I should put up some kind of storage thing. So a storage tent, the wood pile that we've already got, and a rock pile. Well, let's get one of those 
so we can store our flint. We'll just put that right next to the wood pile. And then let's get a storage tent. That needs eight sticks and four skins, I would guess. What have I got? What did I roll in the door with here? I've got four raw skins, but not the dried skins. I gotta, I gotta do a thing for that. They've gotta process the raw skins. Okay, we're setting up our pile here. You've already got some sticks, Virig. Again, if indeed that is your real name. I'm suspect about you. I have concerns about you. But you're getting sticks, so that's good. Are we fishing, kids? Are we fishing? Did we do some fishing? Yeah, we're doing some fishing over here. Great. Get back to that storage idea. And of course, now that I say that out loud, we're not going to be able to do the storage because I don't have the drying thing. Spiritual. What are we doing the spiritual? A skull pole. Oh, God, yes, we're getting a skull pole. I don't care. I, we're, we're getting a... I don't know. How many skull poles can I possibly put up? We're absolutely getting a skull pole. I don't have the, the materials to do that, but I'm getting one. I'm queuing that up. Um, I want to get production, and I want to get the skins drier. At bare minimum, we could at least dry the skins that we've got. Let's Again, all of this is going to go in the center of town. I don't want them to have to walk too far to do anything. I really don't feel we've got a lot of food going on. I've got two raw meat some fish, and one berry. That doesn't seem like a lot. Can we, is there anywhere we could set up some berry production here? Harvest wild plants. Anything going on? Uh, looks like there's something over here. What is that? A service tree. What? What is it servicing? Is it food? What are we doing? Collect fruit can only be done in summer. Okay. Well, what? what is it now? It's 15 degrees C. Oh, God, it's in Celsius. All right, uh, 59 degrees F. Okay, good, I understand that one. Oh, we've got a knowledge point. We've, we've done the skins dryer. We've got one knowledge point. That's our research, right? Yeah, this is our research. I mean, I can't do anything with one point, but the concept is there. What's the little doggy? Dog domestication. Oh, super. What's this? Dog training. Even better. Where are the kitties? Could we address? Well, kitties, kitties did not get domesticated. Cats domesticated themselves because they're smarter than dogs. Oh, my man over here is going for a swim. Bangal just swam across the river, I'm assuming, to go get the flint that lives up here. Good. We haven't researched swimming yet, but apparently you've already got the hang of it. Good job, Bangal. Right, all of this is up, and we're doing things, right? Yeah, because this is on permanent production. So we get a skin, we dry a skin. It's just that simple. should probably get another one of those. But I'd also, I wouldn't mind getting a tiny bit of hunting done. Because apparently we rolled in the door with some spears and some knives. So I can at least get started on that. Speaking of which, how about crafting? We could make some more knives, some spears, or a harpoon. That would be smart, right? Having a harpoon? And it just takes some sticks. Make a couple of those. And like a spear and a knife. I don't have the workforce to do this. Uh, where is my caveman vision? That's primal vision. Okay. This was very much covered in the tutorial. I'm very, very clear on this. I turn this on. I can see which are the animals we could probably safely hunt, like this thing over here, and which are the animals that are going to murder us in the face, like this guy over here. This guy's a little meh. He might murder us in the face. He might not. But I think we're going to take a stab, literally, at this guy. I would like to set this Ibex to be hunted. I don't know how that's going to go, but I feel it's very, very important that we do it. Ah, and I see whomever you are. Uh, you're, well, you are indeed at the crafting station. I, I can't quite zoom in on you, but whomever you are, you're making a thing. You're doing a thing here. Ah, Yerdok. Oh, it's Yerdok again. Yerdok, you're very, very thirsty. Do you want to go have a drink at the river? I'm pretty sure the river is clean water. You, you do that when you feel, man. You do that when you feel. Okay, what else should I be doing around here? Did we, uh, did we start hunting? Yes. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Oh, yeah, you're in on this. You don't anger the rhino! Don't aggro that thing. It's got a big pointy thing at its face. Well, we're giving good chase, but this thing's got four legs and we've got two. It's, it's definitely getting away from us. Ah, oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. Okay. And we, we got a knowledge point for that, too. We hunted our first animal. Who uh who nailed that thing? Who's my supreme hunter here? Virg. All right. Good job, Virg. Way to go. Chasing after that thing. And now you're going to butcher it, right? Yeah. You're going to butcher it up. We'll get some skins. We'll get some meat. 
and we'll bring that eventually back to camp. You you went pretty far to get that thing. All right. Um, the, the campfire. Do we automatically make food? Uh, we do not. We can't make bread. What are you talking about? We can't make bread at all. Oh, we got another knowledge point for getting 10 sticks. Yay. All right. Well, apparently the hearth says a place to cook. So I'm going to assume they will cook up that meat. Oh, there's a, is there, there's a drying thing, isn't there? Do I have access to that yet? I do not. Okay, I need food drying for that. That's a research. Where does that live? Sling making. Oh, that sounds good. Here it is, food drying. I need two more knowledge points. And then we can figure out how to dry food, which will last longer. It'll uh, not rot, not go bad quite as quickly. Now what should I put together? As I recall from the tutorial, and I'm stretching my limits of my knowledge here, I put up some more houses, some more people might come by. If we've got good, like, prestige, if people are like, wow, that is the caveman camp that we want to live in. We are all heading over to Dave Town. Should I do that now, or should I just concentrate on kind of focused and getting everyone what they need? I'm going to focus. I'm going to do something I've never tried to do before. I'm actually going to focus. Oh, good. Bangal figured out where the river is, so he's getting a little drink of water over there. I... I would like to get the storage Hoosie McWhatsit up. Uh, so let's get to storage and a storage tent. I should have at some point the skins for this. I should put up another one of those drying Hoosie McWhatsits. That'll speed things along. Again, right in the center of town. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Actually, let's get another, uh, what's that, production. Let's get another skins dryer right next to the other one. There we go. There we can double up on our dried skins. Now, I could increase the number of workers getting sticks, but I don't know if I need to. I mean, I've only got seven people here. I don't even know if the kid does anything. No storage slots yet left. Yeah, we're working on it. We're working on it. We need to dry some skins out first, but we are trying to work on that as best we can. Anything else we should be hunting around here? What else lives in this area? Don't hunt the red thing. Do not hunt the red thing. Wow, we're a little, uh, a little tight for tamer animals to go and slaughter. There's a whole bunch over here. That's really, really far away. I don't think we should stray that far from camp. How about right across the river? Anything going on over there? There's a nice little herd of ibex, but again, super, super far away. It might be a mostly fish-based diet for a while, kids. Oh, thank goodness we've built our skull pole. Oh, good. That looks so much better now with the skulls. That really perks the place up. We're already up to four knowledge points for that. I only need the five to get into food drying. I wonder what else we could do to get a knowledge point. Maybe when we build the storage thing, that might be it. Got to get that done soon. We've got no storage left. Got nothing going on around here. Uh, what are you doing, Sparky? What are you, you drying skins? You having fun with that, Carrick? Is that like your hobby? Your dad teach you that? Drying skins and all? Okay, well, whatever it is you're doing, you need to work harder at it. And for want of anything else to do, I'm going to put down a work area to gather any fruits and vegetables that happen to be out in the wild. There is a good little patch of something over here. Like, what are you? You're a blackberry. You're probably not ready yet, but you will be, and you're right next door. So anyone who wants to get in on that when the blackberries come in, go ahead and do it. How are we doing otherwise? We've got five meat, seven fish, and still that one berry. Nobody wants to eat that berry. I was looking for some more nice animals to go and get, but there's a big patch of iron ore over there. Absolutely nothing I can do with that yet. But good to know it's there. That's very, very close by. Maybe we have a bash at the wild donkey. It's an old wild donkey. How hard could that possibly be to kill? Now, it is right next to the cave hyena, who will absolutely murder us in the face. But an old wild donkey. This time, we're going to go with a bit of a hunting party. So you guys, uh, not not Carrick, no, not you. No, no, not, not you, kid, not you. Uh, how about you two? You two remember how to do this. Where did the donkey go? There it is. Go get the donkey. Two of you together. Go get the donkey. Oh, and we got 10 flint, and that means another knowledge point. Excellent. All right, I definitely want 
food drying, but what else is here? Tanning. All right, that's a, probably not what we need right at the moment. Funerary rites. Okay, hopefully people aren't going to die immediately. Bone tools. Hmm. Better weapons. Okay, no, go with your gut. Get food drying, because that means our food will last longer, and that's got to be smart. Okay, that probably opened up something in production, I would imagine. Yeah, there we go. Food dryer. Let's get that cooking along. Ha <laughs> ha, see what I did there? Food dryer, cooking. Ha <laughs> ha, never mind. We got another knowledge point for beginning, I think, to hunt the wild donkey. We we didn't get that already, did we? That would be silly. We, we couldn't possibly have gotten that thing yet. I don't even think the team even headed out. Did you? Oh, you did! Oh, look at you guys! Well, goodness! Well done, team! Well, where is it? What did you do with it? Don't leave it out there to rot. We need that, and I just researched food drying. Now, well, it's taken a while, but we are getting dry skins. We've made two of them so far. Got some more to go before we can get our storage unlocked. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. What are you doing? You going to the storage tent? Oh, you're probably putting the skins in there. Yeah, we've, I'm sure we probably got all the sticks. Yeah, you're pending two dried skins. Well, you put one in there. There's got to be some more cooking along here. Where are we at? 11%. Yeah, it's going to take a while. That is definitely going to take a while. Why do you have a Z over your head? What's your problem? What, what's this mean? Has low stats. Oh, you're very tired. Well, go take a nap. I'm not stopping you. Uh, guys, the rhino's in town. The rhino's in town. Let's let's just all ignore it. Let's hope it goes away. It's an old female woolly rhino. We're not messing with it. You're you're orange, right? Yeah, you will absolutely murder us in the face if you get half a chance. Okay, we're not messing with you. You just go about your business, Miss Rhino. No concerns here. Oh, you're swimming. Oh, that's fun. Oh, I like that. You're swimming across the water. You're kind of cute like that. Oh, little woolly rhino. You're a ginormous woolly rhino, and you'll murder us if we try and hunt you. But it was very cute watching you swim across the river. I'm really just sitting around waiting for these last skins to dry so the storage thing can go up. So I'm sitting around waiting. Anything else around here that we might want to be hunting? Oh, we really landed in not a great area for that. Not many. In I mean, there's whatever you are all the way over here. What are you exactly? Oh, you're another donkey. Yeah, we've had good luck with donkeys. We might come over and hunt you. Maybe. I'm not 100% on that. Ah, you're not very far away. You're kind of right across the river here. What are you? Are you another Ibex? No, you're a Mouflon. Well, Gesundheit. Let's get you hunted. Yeah, Virg's in on this. Virg ain't playing. I mean, she's acting all casual as she's walking across the river here, but she heard there might be Mouflon on the menu, and she is well into that. Well into that. Watch out for the adorable but deadly swimming rhino as you go across the river there. Are you coming in on this too? Uh, no, you're just going to go hang out with Jarzik. Are you hunting with her? What are you doing, kid? Uh, no, that's a riverbank. I know that. Uh, yeah, we're... Wait. We're... Cake... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hyena attack. Okay, when did that happen? I mean, obviously just now is the answer to that question, Dave. Did you just one-shot that thing, Yerdok? Because if so, cool. Okay, I didn't... Didn't even... All right. Maybe I have to plan for defense a little bit better. Are there any turrets in this game that I could pull up? Now, Thurza, can I just direct you to go butcher that now? I can. Okay, I just right-click on that, and that will preempt your gathering sticks nonsense. Uh, we're hunting some mouflon. That's cool. Looks like that was a success over there. It is hard to keep track of everyone. Three knowledge points. Not a heck of a lot I can do with that. But that skin must almost be done at this 85%. Okay. Stop telling me about the storage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Milestone unlocked. We've hunted and gathered things. Knowledge plus two. I know about storage. We got one more skin, and we'll have a storage facility. Well, what can I get then with five knowledge points? What's this? Sling making. Kind of like the idea of that. Archery. That would get us towards archery. I'm going to make that, or rather, learn that, and then see what I can make out of it. That's the direction I was going in there. If I go to my crafting spot, did that unlock anything? It did. It did. I've got a sling now. And it looks like I just need one dried skin to make two slings. Oh, let's get a couple of those kicking in then. 
I am kind of taxing the team though, 133% workload. I've got a lot for them to be doing right now. All right, I'm gonna wait until they're done with the storage facility. We've got some raw meat. That was an, a knowledge point right there. Uh, so where are we at with that? 96%. In fact, I think you just pulled that off the rack. Good, I'd love to get the storage thing locked in. There we go, that should help matters along. And we got a knowledge point for putting that up too. Now, what exactly is the holdup over in the food dryer? Waiting for eight sticks. Yeah, we have been a little lax on the stick gathering. You're not wrong, we did take time out to do some hunting and build that thing and dry some skins. Yeah, we, um, we've um we been slacking on sticks. You're not wrong, I, I agree with that. You know what, we're gonna get some more sticks. How about there were two people assigned to stick gathering right now? Who are you, Ariag? Okay, yeah, get some sticks, kid, it's not that hard. And I think the obvious next thing to do is some more tents. Because I think we've actually got a homeless person. There's seven people here, but the two tents are only gonna hold six. So what do we do about getting some more housing down? My option is only a tent right now, a basic shelter. Oh good, more skins. We gotta get more hunting. That It's all about the skins right now. That's what's holding me back. Let's get this tent. I want this all nice and central for right now, especially if the hyenas are gonna keep coming in. Now here's what I don't know. Are they going to automatically grab a sling the next time I tell them to go hunting? Because that's probably, I would assume, a better weapon. Or do I have to direct them to do that in some way? Do please let me know in the comments. I, I don't want to start fidgeting with it until I actually have a vague, clear answer of that. I would assume, because they're pretty self-sufficient, they make good choices as AI, I'm going to assume they're going to say, hey, I'm going off hunting. I'm going to get the fancy new sling out of storage instead of this bunk wooden spear I've got. But all right, I said I wasn't going to fidget with it. I totally am right now. Uh, wooden spear, can I change this? No. Clicking on that does not seem to do anything. How about if I click on this? You're going to the tent. What are you going to do in there? You're doing what? I think you're just got some sticks and put them down, but nothing to do with the sling. Okay, I'll, I'll, we'll kind of figure that out as time goes by. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's another horse over here. How aggro are you as compared to a donkey? You're not. You're totally not. Okay, uh, hunt this guy. Hunt this guy. And you know what? There's a whole pack of wild horses around here. Hunt another one while you're at it. Let's just see if we can stock up on some meat and more importantly, some skins. That's what I want. That's my limiting factor right now. Oh, you know what? Good as test as any about the sling issue. Uh, you, what have you got? You got a sling. Okay, answered my own question there. So you popped in and said, hey, I'm going to go grab a sling instead of the spear. That'll probably be better for hunting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're in there. We're in there hard. Okay. We are running. We're chasing. We're throwing rocks at horses. It's a good day. Oh, I almost feel bad. The horse is trying to swim away across the river, but that's really slowing him down, and we're just getting in a bunch of shots here. There we go. Oh, now it's underwater. Now now our horse is wet. Oh, and a couple of knowledge points there. One for the horse, one for ten dried skins, and another one for the food dryer. Oh, we can unlock something then. Or should I start banking these for, like, something else? Because I could get into better tools. Bone polishing, flint spears, flint axes, picks. That's probably going to lead down to, like, metal working and things. Domesticated dogs. We're going to get doggies around here. Now, what the heck do I do with that? I mean, my first answer is find a dog. And then my the rest of my answer is figure out how to domesticate it and have it live with us. And then it could hopefully guard against the hyena issue. But then hyenas are also a form of dog. Should I just domesticate hyenas and eliminate the middleman? I don't know. Do please let me know in the comments. That will probably be a good place to call it on Dawn of Man for today. Guys, do please let me know what you're thinking of this. Uh, do we want to see a little more of this? Do we want to see a little less of this? Do we want to see all of this? Do we want to see none of this? Do please let me know your thoughts on Dawn of Man. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. 
And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense! Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. I'm going to go embrace my fate. I'm going to go give fate a big old hug. Just walk up and tongue-kiss fate. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I don't... I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. Citizens Tropco, everything is under control. This is... this is not a fire. This is not a fire. This is an aggressive urban redevelopment program. Bugs are inherently stupid, and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them! It's a piece of mesh! We figured this out like a hundred years ago! What is wrong with the British, the Irish?